centers and the sigma. So let's ask them questions to Gina centers and the sigma. So Gina centers and the sigma, please tell us about the existence of white holes. Yes, I do think that white holes really exist because if there is a matter, there is an antimatter also. In the same way, if there is a black hole, there is a white hole. And even the general theory of relativity of Einstein also tells us about white holes. But many of our scientists don't believe on white holes because there is no evidence of white holes existence. Okay, so Julius said this and Trixinma, please tell us about the formation about, of the white holes. If you think that white holes really exist, then there are two things. Two theories, two theories based on it, which says, one of them says that after the black hole dies, a new white hole has taken birth. Which means, what all these things black hole has observed in its whole lifetime, all of these things present in it comes out through the white hole. The second theory says that white hole and black hole are connected as two tunnels between one universe to the another universe. The black hole, all these things which he observes from around the surrounding of that, that universe comes through it and goes out with the white hole and creates a new universe. Okay, so Gina Santos and Sama, please tell us about the theory which tell us about the existence of white holes. As I have already told you that general theory of relativity is main of this theory which tells us that white holes really exist and because of that theory only we have a hope that white holes are really there and one day we will find it out and explore it into full world of art. Okay, so Gina Santos and Trishama, please tell us the theory which relates the, about the existence of white holes. There is a big theory coming in between of white holes existence which is the second law of thermodynamics which says that if there is a matter it would be ex exceeding its limit or being equal to it but never go lower than that and which is the law which violates the existence of white hole and because of that only many scientists have this thing that no white holes have an existence. But because of our general theory of relativity which is there and says us that there is a white hole, we can't violate any of these laws. Thermodynamics also is a main law which has the existence in our universe and even general theory of relativity has a big role in that. So we can't violate any of these laws. Okay. So thank you everyone. I hope you have understand about the existence, formations about the white holes and the theory which tells about the existence of white holes and the theory which relates about the existence of white holes. So till our next video. Thank you. Thank you.